I am very blessed. It is what you call the uh, this that institution. That's what you have saw in the uh, promotion video. Uh, I am very encouraged to do and uh, to do more. I mean, to do service in God's vineyard. In the in that institution, those people who who will be going to study in that institution, they will also be um, encouraged and they will be blessed by the Holy Spirit. And so far, as what you have seen, I am not um, uh, usually standing in front of many people, so my voice is very sound like weird, so, but this pardon i mean i'm asking for apology so i'm encouraging you guys that please uh, kindly open in matthew 24 verse 14 matthew 24 verse 14 it says and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness into all the into all the world into all the world and then shall the end comes come so we should carry this, the message of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ hand in hand. We should carry the word of God with a united spirit because if God's people is united, there is power. May God bless us all. Brother J.D., two minutes, okay? Medical missionaries, this time, do not be ashamed. I'm going to ask you to please stand up. Please, medical missionaries, please stand up. There you go. We've seen medical missionaries in this place because medical missionaries are supporting PYC. Amen? Brothers and sisters, in Testimony, Volume 7, page 62, it says there, we have come to a time when every member of the church should take hold of the medical missionary work. Yesterday, I've listened to a beautiful presentation by Brother Mike Tuazon. He tells us the final message, and that is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Do you want to reveal Jesus Christ in your life? In Medical Ministry, page 319, it says there, if you want to reveal Jesus Christ in your life, there is no other way than take hold of the medical missionary work. Amen? Final words in Matthew chapter 9, verses 37 and 38. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous. It's not even plenteous, but according to Revelation 14, the harvest is even ripe, ripe, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. PYC, do you want to become a medical missionary? Do you want to become a medical missionary, PYC? We have come to a time when every member of the church should take hold of the medical missionary work. Empowered, PYC? Amen. God bless you all. Thank you, Brother Allen and team. At this point, I just want to be, I'm curious, how many of you joined the outreach a while ago? Can you please raise your hands and say amen? Amen. Wow, there's a, almost everyone here joined the outreach. I want to ask, uh, before anything else, after this, we'll be hearing some testimonies from the outreach, but, bef but right after that, we have a question and answer portion for our speakers, for our guest speakers. So if you have anything that you want to ask Michael, Candice, the Shives, we will be opening the floor to you momentarily. And if you don't want to come up, grab a mic and speak, you can go ahead, get a piece of paper, write your question right there, and we'll see if we have time to ask that question. But before that, I want to see who attended. How many of the Maroon team are here? Can you say amen? 
If, if Maroon is here, raise your hand and say amen. Amen. I see like three. How about um, Red? If Red is here, amen. Amen. Wow. How about what I miss? Purple. Is there a purple team? Amen. Wow. Orange team. If you're here, please raise your hand and say amen. I didn't see any hands, but I heard the amens. There you go. We have a few in the back. How about the gray team? Amen. I'm gray. Amen. How about the green team? Amen. Okay. Okay. Is there any other team I miss? What am I missing? Blue. Blue. Is there a blue team? Wow. A lot of blue teams right there. Amen. Did I miss any other team? Pink. 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 If you have pink team. Amen. Yellow. Yellow team. Yellow team. Amen. So, no team, no team. <laughs> How about the violet team? Violet, wow, they're still sitting in their position. Hello? So at this point, if you believe you have something to share during your outreach, I will now give the mic to you. I am doing this. I'm sorry for not giving you a heads up. But the thing is, I was so busy during the outreach, I could not go around and find stories or find personal experiences that I believe you would want to share. So if you believe deep down inside that you have a personal testimony to share on the outreach that we just did, please come up. The floor is yours. Don't worry. I'll share the floor with you. So if there's anyone willing now at this point to come up, Anyone willing? Is there anyone willing? I believe there's not even... Okay, here, our brother here. Welcome, sir. What's your name, sir? Adave. Adave, and what team are you from? Yellow team. Wow, the yellow team. Where did you go? Uh, we went up to Tyria, so somewhere there. I wouldn't know much. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere there, okay. Yeah. So what exactly Sorry. do you have to share with us? All right, I'm here to share with you something that really happened at the end of our um, outreach. We came back to the base where we're supposed to get on a bus and come back home. When we came back there, as we were gathering around, there was this particular lady at the outside of the building. I was standing there somehow. I don't know why I went up the way, but I went closer to this lady. And then somehow she led me into, the, into a building. And here was this few congregations where they, uh, were seated and they were sharing with the pastor. And here was this lady I was sharing with. And she was asking me, why, what are you people doing here? Where are you coming from? And I said, oh, I'm coming from AUP. And we are here to do our survey. At the same time, to share, to find out what's going on with our Christian brothers at this time. And so we are here. I said, oh, that's interesting. And he said, then what's this building? And he said, you are in the church. I said, wow, I'm in the church. So what church is this? And she says, this is Bethany Baptist Church. And I said, and who are you? And she said, I am the wife of a pastor. And I said, wow, this is great. And with the husband, as the pastor is there with the congregation. And then in a little while, the husband came over. And the name of the husband was Pastor Franco. And then we came and shared together. And I said, what are you doing here, friend? And I said, we are here to see, uh, to interview a few of our good brothers and sisters, trying to help them out to find out what's their relationship with their God. And so we are here for this purpose. And it's, wow, that's great. And then we started sharing together. And this friend of mine, he started saying, you know what? You know what? Ellen White came out from Baptist Church. And I said, yes, that's right. That's why we are brothers here. <laughs> and so we started sharing together. And before I left, and I said, brother, if you don't mind, I'm going to pray with you. And he says, wow, that will be great. Let's pray together. And so he said, well, you're going to pray for me, and I'm going to pray for you. And so I had a prayer with him. He had a prayer with me, and then we left. That is one thing I thought that I did not expect to experience that time. But I thank God that God led me 
to meet my fellow brother from another denomination who is a pastor of Bethany Baptist Church. Wow. And I thought that is what I want to share with you this afternoon. God bless us all. Thank you very much, Adave. So he came to a Bethany Baptist Church. He was sharing with the wife, and he met her husband, who happened to be the pastor of that church. And he ended up not only praying for him, but also receiving a prayer as well. Can we say amen to that? Amen. Is anywhere anyone else who wants to share something? Yes, brother. Wow, from the great team, my my fellow teammate. Your name, sir? I'm Emmanuel. Emmanuel. And where did we go? We went to uh, po -o is it po -o Polong, Polong. Polong, Santa Cruz. Oh, wow. And what is it that you have to share with us, brother Emmanuel? Well, when we first uh, got off the bus, we went to uh, uh, different houses, and then we went to this uh, meat shop. Me, my partners, uh, Rebecca, and Sister, uh, Sister, Sister Tessie Camarines. There we met a man who was selling uh, meat. Then we told him that we were doing a religious survey. We asked him what his religion was, and he said he's a Catholic. I asked him how often does he go to church. He said, uh, not very often because of his business. And then um, uh, I asked him that uh, his being a Catholic or being a Christian uh, in any way uh, have an effect on his daily life. And he said, yes. Uh, one example is that when his son got sick, uh, he prayed to God and his son uh, got better. And he said that uh, although he uses uh, medicine, but he attributed it to God. So uh, he was uh, willing to have a Bible study. Wow. But not only that, uh, the last person that we talked with when we transferred to an another area, uh, we were at this store talking to a lady. Uh, we didn't know that she was an Adventist. So she, we were uh, telling her about uh, why we were there. And then there was a lady standing nearby. She also asked us about uh, what we were doing. We explained to her that, that we were doing a medical mission, or uh, I'm sorry, a religious survey. And then uh, that uh, if, uh, if it's okay with her, we, want, uh, we will send uh, somebody to do Bible study with her. And she said yes. And uh, she said that uh, uh, when we asked if her husband will, will be willing to join her, she said yes though her husband is a Muslim. And then when we were praying, because uh, we prayed uh, with her, Sister Rebecca prayed with her, uh, she said uh, sh she wants us to pray for her husband who had his uh, shoulder injured. So we prayed. When we opened our eyes, we saw her crying. Now we do not know why I asked her why she didn't respond uh, or tell us why. But uh, we can sense that she was touched by the prayer. And so uh, I am blessed with those two people that I met this morning, or uh, high noon. Uh, a person who experienced for himself uh, the power of God, and this lady who we were there for just a few minutes, just prayed for her, but uh, she was somehow uh, touched by the Spirit of, of God. Amen. So you have their Bible interests. Thank you very much, Emmanuel. Bible interests and the power of prayer working in our outreach. Can you say amen to that? Amen. So I believe there's time for one more. If you have something to share, oh, someone stood up right away. And I believe I know this person very well. So we'll come to, if you have any other testimony, testimony that you wish to share, I cannot promise you a spot. I cannot promise you an evening where I, you can be featured. But if you let me know, we can work something out in which we can tell PYC in any way possible about your personal experience. And anyway, what is your name, sir? Um, I'm Moses. Moses. Yeah. Welcome from Egypt. Or no, <laughs> from Israel. <laughs> what team I are wish. you from? 
I am from the purple team. Purple I am team. A foreigner in the purple team. Oh. Like I, I wasn't officially purple. Oh, so. the unofficial purple. Yeah. Unofficial. So what story? Where were? You, where did you guys go, boy? Uh, we went to Lumil. Lumil. Okay. Yeah. What story do you have for us? What do wow, you have? Wow, I have endless of stories to tell you, but just to generalize it, I was really truly blessed because you know. As a, as a foreigner, it was kind of hard to go into the into the place, and then you expect that you're not gonna understand any Tagalog. Mm -hmm. And I had I had a, a very good partner. Where is Michelle? Oh, there you go, there you go. Uh, and she she's the fastest talking Filipino I've ever yeah. met. When we were <laughs> going, when we were going door to door, she 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 just talked, and I was like, I, I even learned Tagalog, but I didn't understand her. <laughs> so um, it was a blessing, and. We we decided to go off into a section, and that section no one else was going. Only a few people went, so we decided to go and follow on the road. I never knew Philippines had so many little roads, and <laughs> so we just went straight. And it was amazing how many people wanted to have Bible studies, even though um, they were not SDA. Like as Pastor Shive said this uh, yesterday morning, that you do not have to necessarily mention to them that you 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 want them to have Bible studies to come to a church. I just mentioned to them if they want to know more about the Bible. And there were so many women and also uh, families that wanted us to come back and give them Bible study, Iglesia, Christo, Catholic, and they didn't even believe the second coming of Jesus. Yeah. And it was just such a blessing that we were able to share with them. We sang uh, very beautiful voices uh, for Michelle, and also we also prayed with them, and it was so nice. And one person who especially 